This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Open up the data tab. Ooh, okay. Look for the metadata. Look for the metadata for a data set. So I think they mean through. And then share with your partner. So I guess hi person on the other end. You're my partner. <laughs> what does this table contain? Where does the data come from? What other useful information is found in the metadata? Don't let this word metadata scare you. All right, but let's look at the data tab, which is here. And then look for the meta through the metadata for a data set. Metadata is really meta. It just means a set of data that's giving and describing other data sets, other data. All right. So anyways, let's take a look what we got. And we've used this some before. Art, geography. Ooh, I love video games. So I'll click on this one and preview it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Title, sales, platform. Interesting. And let's look at a few of these. Uh, Netflix. Okay, title, country, added date, oh, all right, and I don't know, let's dive into something, science, and the uh, dinosaurs, sure, preview that, oh wow, look at all this, max age, okay, so what are they asking us here, look at, we got that, what does the data, what does the table contain, where does it come from, and what other useful information is found, okay, so, they're just thinking about this generally. What does it contain? Well, each data set, it looks like contains different information that pertain to the name. This one's dinosaur fossils. So it has information like species, age, min age found, year, the class, the order, family, right? Science stuff. This one being Netflix. So the data contained directly relates to the name. It looks like it contains information that one could categorize based on and then information specific to that item and let's see what else where does it come from well i think that's going to depend on the source right so i assume this information would be coming from netflix this will come from experts in oh nope it tells us peer oh no this would come for someone with a particular in uh, interest in dinosaur fossils the data is going to come from the well, it comes from the source. So think of who would be using this or have access to this data to provide it. What other useful information is found in metadata? Honestly, the categories themselves are fairly useful, as, along with the specifics. Their numerical ranking of them, some are in order from least to most. There's a lot of information to be gained here. And it can be interpreted and used in many ways. So, okay, we've looked at that. Let's see. I guess finish. Woohoo! Onward. Ah, uh, okay. What does the visualization actually show? Below is an image from Google Trends, which is awesome. I use that sometimes. That plots cats and dogs. Choose the most accurate description of what the data is actually showing based on what you know how Google Trends works. So, if you want to test this real quick, and I do... I just magic my way to this tab. Let's see. Dogs. Did they say with an S? Yes. Dogs, cats. I hope cat dogs win because dogs are better. I know. I know. I have a favorite, but I'm kind of allergic to cats and dogs love you more. Anyways, dogs and cats. Okay. So I've put them in up here. If you don't know how to get here, Google the word Google Trends. But yeah. Um, all right. So look at all of this. We have, oh, interest over time. Well, Number represents search interest relative to the highest point. Okay, so it looks like this is just general interest of this item, right? It's not a specific number of how many searches. Wow, look at the interest to cats. So it looks like dogs is usually at least double, almost, and sometimes triple the interest of cats. Let's take a look at our question. Choose the most accurate description of what this data actually shows based on how you know Google Trends works. People like dogs more than cats. Now, do... A search for dogs mean they like dogs more than cats? If I had a fear of dogs, I might search for dogs to learn, you know, what, in what ways they might be dangerous. So I don't know if I can necessarily say, ah, you looked for dogs, therefore you love dogs, right? I mean, I've Googled for information about diseases. I don't love diseases. So people, I don't think that's going to be it. People search for dogs more frequently than cats. Hmm. Okay, that does seem like a possible one. There was a sharp increase in dog population sometime between 2014 and 15. Wow. Well, nothing here says dog population, right? 
and a search increase doesn't mean there's more of them. The popularity of dogs as a pet is slightly increased over time, while the popularity of cat is relatively flat. Okay, this is somewhat of a trap, guys. You need to know only what this is showing. This is interpreting. I don't know if they've increased or flat. Again, maybe dogs increased here because there was a huge outbreak of dog bites. There wasn't dogs are perfect. Um, but we don't know exactly the reasons for this. We just know that the search, the searches have varied some. So if that's all it's showing me, information about the search, well then people search for dogs more frequently, right? I'm not sure why, when, how, but I do know this much. Boom. Make sure you really understand the difference between interpretation of data and viewing that data in a concrete way where the aim is to understand it, not, uh, not just interpret or impose your own belief on it. All right, cool. Onward.